Sleep upgrade. It was too hot to film yesterday. My phone overheated. Everybody overheated. Today it's really nice. So we're finishing up uh, an upgrade here of 48 panels, making this a 65 kW array. And we added a, I'll show you inside, we added another Solark. So we're four inverters, three arrays, 65 kW, but wait till you see the battery upgrade. So the largest, largest residential system we've done. Um, the system's been working good for a couple of months. And then uh, this building got basically a couple of apartments, a lot of HVAC added. So there's multiple homes and multiple buildings and a lot of HVAC. And it's been really hot. So it, the battery couldn't quite cut it. So we figured out what we needed to do. Um, a lot of the problems is the property line around. There's two things. Aesthetically, they wanted the panels to line up with the building. But we don't get very good morning charging. We get fantastic afternoon charging. So we added some, added a lot of panels to compensate for the poor morning charge. We've been using the generator while we're working on the system. And we'll do that here shortly. We fire up the Cummins to run the place and bypass. Again, this is off grid. The grid has been disconnected. So we run the Jenny so we can do our work. Uh, we got the wire pulling yesterday. Willis did an awesome job. We didn't have to pull out the existing arrays because I wanted to get that battery charged up. So we are landed. So we loop from array to array to array. We have three double pole, we call them double pole IMO pull boxes here. So we got the last one there. We loop to the second one. Last one to the second one to the third one, and then we had our existing two inch pipe coming in and running in next to that disconnect. So we didn't have to excavate, and I didn't even bring the excavator this time. We just used the, took one fork off the forks. I have single forks on the skid steer and did a redneck trench. I call it a redneck trench, just using one fork, but it sure beats a shovel for busting up roots and getting through the difficult things so anyway conduits in wires are in and now let me show you what we did inside so we added another stack of the 14 v5 pipes let's see if i can back up here a little bit and uh they're all connected to a hub you can actually do four or uh, six groups of 16 with a single hub on the v5 pipes it's really nice it's a one u unit basically they call it a can bus router over to the inverters so we charged got everything balanced out yesterday again when you balance out you want to get the batteries the manufacturer is going to tell you to keep the battery within you know half a volt tenth of a volt before you turn on these other batteries. these were full this was 50 percent for the manufacturer so we bring the voltage up on these to within a tenth of a volt or as close as you can get it to the rest of the bank then turn these on and then this will all balance out and that's what we did yesterday because we had the only sunshine we had this week was yesterday and then we were yes everybody overheated this is the master we're going to have four emp hardened 15 k's we had three and we are closed loop with the Pites battery. As you can tell, when you have that kind of screen, you the closed loop is successful. The only thing I don't like, it doesn't populate the amp hours. So you have to do that manually, but that's okay. So when we look at that, we're a 5,600 amp hour battery. So it's a monster. And uh, so right now we're starting to get ready to wire this fourth inverter in. When you Make sure that you get your dip switches correct. These dip switches here have, depending on the number of inverters. Uh, with single inverter, you don't have to change anything. Two inverters, you don't have to change anything. When you get to three, you have to get the sequence right. And it's um, off, on, off, and then it's off, on, on, off. So the last and the first seem to have the same settings in the table for paralleling. So I get that right to get these things to talk to each other. And then any changes you make on here automatically populates down the line. 
So we've got to get the Jenny on here. Jenny's going to allow us to throw our system in bypass. Again, we never never put up one of these systems in without a, without a bypass because if you come back and it'll make the customer very upset for having their house down for hours while you're trying to wire in a new inverter or a new battery. So we minimize the damage through a bypass. All right, so I wish I could back up and show you what it looks like from far away, but it's cool nonetheless. We really like the V5 Pites. We like the look of it. Fortunately, this customer um, knocked out the rack. He built the rack at his fabrication shop and they're really nice. We're still talking about how do we work with him to get these racks made. Um, we're also seeing the trend though, going outdoors. These are not outdoor rated batteries. They do have heaters in them, so they can go outside, they just can't go outdoors. And the only other upgrade that we might be doing now that the system is so large is coming back and putting in a larger generator that can really get these batteries back up to speed. It's not just charging the batteries for some of these systems, it's being able to run the loads and charge the batteries simultaneously. And you need a big boy, probably a 45 kW on this one to get it done. Okay, it's a wrap. Doing a little testing here, 415 Ks, 56 Pites V5s. It's a 5600 at least, I think it's 284 kilowatt hour battery storage. 415 Ks in parallel with 65 kilowatts of solar on it. This is the largest residential system we've done. Oh, look at that. I didn't even know we had sun. Let's go see what the inverters are doing. So we've got 144 panels, 450 watts each. So we got, we got in there, 15 kilowatts, 15 kilowatts, 11 kilowatts, and oh my goodness, 22 and 30, like 54, 53 kW right now out of 65. It's been a very rainy week. We're dumping some amps. These are really nice, these V5s. Really nice, everything stays nice and cool. Super cool. I got it limited to a thousand amps on the DC charging. That's the continuous rating of the Blue Sea bus bars. So, I am watching that. So, the bypass worked great. We used the Jenny, we used the Cummins, which is really now that the system continues to expand. That little Jenny's a little too small for this place. And, uh, oh, we still got benches and stuff down here. Guess we'll get them in the morning. But we added that array down there. Three 48-panel Sinclair KB Solar Bifacials. That should get it done. That's a lot of power. Customer's pretty happy. Had a lot of storms lately. But they were the only folks in the neighborhood that had power. And a lot of it. All right, this was a nice upgrade. Nice work. And... It's kind of always nice coming back to something you've already pre-built if you think ahead a little bit and prepare and think oh He might add a little bit so oversize your conduits That saved us a lot. I mean we do run two inch all the time, but that saved us so much. We didn't have to excavate We could just loop between the panels between the arrays and then pull in the new set of conductors in the existing with the existing wires and bring it into the inverter. So the master inverter's always gotta have the most solar on it. And uh, we have the master and the first slave that have 18 kilowatts. And then the other two are 14.4. So anyway, if you need help, um, either expanding your system, getting a new system, just let us know, we'd be glad to help you. And uh, man, oh man just so impressive sorry this is just a nutso very large system so when you're dealing with a 5600 amp hour battery you better have everything double checked so we, everything double triple checked in terms of torque and just too much amperage flow to mess with it all right this is engineer 775 I think the guys are ready to go. They're all looking at their phones. They want to get out of here. Like, stop filming. It's one of Elijah's last jobs for the summer. He'll be off to his mechatronics course here in a month. 
Oh, I want to get. You got a lot more work to do, kid. All right, they're all running away when the camera's coming. All right. All right. You do. No, I don't. Okay, but you are. See ya. Thank you.